What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? This is Rich coming back at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Um, it's early February, a lot of water still cold around the U.S. right now, but it's a great time of year to start gearing up your fishing arsenal uh, here for the upcoming pre-spawn and summer months. So kicking it off, we got a few new lures from Buckeye, lures and jig heads. So this is the Buckeye Shocker Swimbait Head. Um, this is a really unique profile here, and they got some nice like glitter uh, finish on here as well for a little bit added realism. This is going to be perfect for pairing with your A-Rigs. It's got a double bait keeper right here, so you can slide any of your uh, soft plastic swim baits on there and not worry about it sliding down the hook at all. So really cool profile, and I'm definitely going to grab me a few of these to throw on the A-Rigs uh, this pre-spawn. So kind of on a similar vein, this is the Shocker Light Swim Bait Head. Um, so this is a lighter swim bait head, uh, it has a lighter wire hook, so it's going to be perfect for those finesse swim baits. Um, another cool thing about these Buckeye jig heads is it has the weights actually labeled on each jig head. So when you're digging through your tackle box, you don't have to spend a bunch of time trying to guess how heavy your swim bait head is, especially when you get into those really particular situations. You're looking for that one eighth ounce head, um, really cool little feature there. Again, really nice little finishes on these things, so running it on your A-Rigs or just fishing it alone with a fluke or a swim bait, you're going to get bit on that this pre-spawn. All right, another jig head from Buckeye. So this is for your, your forward-facing sonar guys out there. I mean, this is a really cool new design. Um, so this is the scope head. Um, it has this extended lead kind of appendage coming off the main jig head there and then a wire hook keeper as well. So this is going to show up great on your, on your live uh, live target units, your forward facing units. You're going to want to pair this with a small uh, plastic or um, a small uh, swim bait and it's going to do really well when you're in those situations where bass are kind of keyed in on those smaller baits. It has a nice uh, finesse, finesse style hook, really light wire hook on there. Um, and again it has, uh, it has your uh, sizes labeled on the bottom of the um, lead as well. So really cool bait from Buckeye. Um, definitely grab a few of the scope heads for this pre-spawn when those fish get keyed in on uh, smaller baits gorging themselves. More from Buckeye. So we got, this is the Buckeye Berserk buzz bait. This is a, a really unique buzz bait here. It's very loud. It's got a nice, uh, nice loud action. You have a bead up here in front of that blade. So you'll be able to bomb these things. They have a really aerodynamic um, kind of design of jig head there. Um, equipped with a super sh sticky sh sharp mustad hook, really lifelike skirt, and it has a soft plastic keeper on there as well. So pair your favorite paddle tail or your favorite jig trailer on there and burn this thing around some pads, throw it under a dock this summer and you're gonna get crushed on this, um, I can assure you that. Um, kind of a similar style bait, but without that, um, without the skirt is, this is the G-Man uh, Buckeye um, buzz bait here. So again, you have your size label on the head. Um, it has double soft plastic bait keepers there. So this is going to be perfect for pairing with any of your favorite soft plastics, um, any soft body frogs, any paddle tails. Um, and this bait, it doesn't have a bead in front of the blade there. So it's going to be a little bit quieter, um, a little bit more of a finesse style buzz bait, but it's going to still allow you to skip it way far under a dock or under any overhangs. Um, and again, equipped with a really, really sharp mustad hook on there. Um, going to get some nice penetrating power and uh, land those big ones when they decide to hit it. All right, up next from Kitech, this is the Nico Cameroon. So this is a really cool bait that's specifically designed for fish pairing with a Nico rig. So um, basically you're gonna wanna get your um, O-ring and put it around the body of the bait and get your finesse hook and you get a nail weight and put it on the top of this thing and it's gonna look amazing in the water. It's not only gonna look amazing, but it's gonna smell amazing. You got that Kitech scent on there. We all know that how effective that this thing is. Also pair it on your shaky head. You could fish it on a drop shot. Um, lots of different ways to fish this thing. Really cool creature bait. Um, drag it around on a Carolina rig, flip it on a Texas rig. Um, all sorts of way to fish this. I mean, you can get creative with a bait like this. Really cool. Now getting into the swim baits here. So this is from Bass Mafia. So this is the Bass Mafia Dangerous 6-inch Line-Through Swim Bait. Now this is a bait that I'm really excited about. It's one of the more unique line-through swim baits that I've seen. 
Um, I mean, first off, starting at the head of the bait, you have these amazing holographic eyes. They're forward-facing eyes. look super real in the water. Um, and it's also got, it's, I mean, it's your traditional line through, so you put your line in right there. Um, but what's unique about this is the top hook actually slides out magnetically. So when you tie it on, you'll pull out that hook, tie on your, tie on your line, and then just slide your hook back in the bait, and you'll be ready to fish. Um, another unique thing about this is it has a really wide body and what that's going to do is it's going to keep the bait upright when you're reeling it around any cover or any any cover that it might deflect off of. It's immediately going to upright itself and keep swimming straight. This thing is going to have a nice slow rolling action so definitely a good idea to fish these things in the pre-spawn, slow roll it around any cover or any like staging points that fish might be laid up on uh, before they uh, get ready to do their thing. So amazing bait in, designed in collaboration with Chris Aldane um, from Bass Mafia. Really excited about that. Alrighty, so downsizing a little bit. This is the Gee Crack Gilling Twister 75. So this is a super unique kind of bluegill styled wake bait, glide bait, I don't know what you want to call it, um, but this is a floating bait and it'll get down to three feet. Um, obviously super realistic bluegill design on these things and it's definitely more of a finesse style swim bait. Um, so this is going to be perfect when fish are kind of moving up shallow, they're chasing bluegill around their nests, maybe you have super clear water um, and bigger baits aren't doing the, doing the trick and you need to downsize. This is an amazing lure if you want to try to trick some of those giant bass chasing bluegill around their nests. I mean, this profile bait is exactly the type of bluegill that would come in and raid a bass nest and steal a bunch of eggs off of it. So those giant fish are going to absolutely crush this thing when they see it coming close to them. Um, and also get some really nice deflection off cover with that square bill on it. So really cool bait from Gee Crack. That's the Gilling Twister 75. Next from Guggen Squad, this is the Saucy Slimmer. So different from the Saucy Swimmer, the Slimmer obviously is a little bit more narrow and slim. And it has a nice deeper elongated belly, more of a shad-like profile. And so a cool thing about this bait here is you're gonna get some really cool action off of it from this ribbed back here. Um, nice lifelike profile and also the finish in this particular color has a really nice iridescence to it. Um, kind of a two-tone glitter finish in it and um, yeah, I think it's going to get a lot of bites on A-rigs. You could fish it on just a plain jig head, um, pair it on a weedless fluke or a weedless keel weighted hook um, and it has a nice um, belly insert there for any weedless app, app, other weedless application as well. Um, so that's the Saucy Slimmer from Guggen Squad. Last but not least, this is the Tico series from Thunderhawk. So this is a really, really amazing top of the line rod developed by the guys over at Thunderhawk. Um, first and foremost, I mean, talking about the blank of this thing, this is all, this is a Japanese carbon fiber, fiber blank, Japanese Torre carbon fiber. So it's going to feel extremely, extremely light um, as soon as you pick it up. Um, a lot of the most high-end rods on the market are constructed from the same uh, material. Um, a lot of professional anglers, Gary Loomis, Larry Dalberg, Lefty Cray, were all collaborators with the Thunderhawk team on this rod. So this is a really, a lot of big fishing brains coming together in the production of this thing. Um, not to mention you have the Fuji Alkanite Black Pearl guides on this bad boy. So top of the line componentry from the guides all the way down to the reel seat. You have a quality Fuji reel seat and the rod's complete with a beautiful grade A cork handle. It feels amazing. Not only is there a plethora of casting rods that span all the way up through like umbrella rig ratings, um, but there's a, there's a variety of spinning rods and even a cranking rod in this lineup as well. So that is the Tico series from Thunderhawk. Thanks for watching this week's episode of What's New at TW. If you liked any of the products that you saw in the video, be sure to drop a comment below. Shop any of these products that you saw at TackleWarehouse.com.